Hey guys, it is Danny, and welcome to this updated video on the tropics. And so, guys, we're going to be talking about Invest 90L, which is our Atlantic disturbance that could develop into a named storm. Will it acquire the name Fred? And then over in the Eastern Pacific, we have Invest 98L. Is that going to develop into a tropical cyclone as well? And will it acquire the name Hilda? And so, guys, before I go into details with these two systems, So of course, let us kickstart things with the Atlantic. And so let's take a look at the general satellite view. And so we're seeing here that we have Invest 90L that is associated with the frontal boundary. And we also have a tropical wave that is north of Puerto Rico. We have quite a bit of shower and storm activity taking place uh, in the vicinity of the South Caribbean. So this is inducing a lot of moisture caused and a lot of rainfall in sections of Southern Central America, especially Nicaragua. And then we have a bit of shower and storm activity taking place off Africa. And we're seeing that in most of the main development region, we don't have much going on. And that is all because of the Saharan dust. And so we're going to be taking a look at that dust map later down in this video. And so now let us go on to what the National Hurricane Center's outlook is for our Invest 90 Ellen. So we're seeing here that it is given a 60% chance to develop into a tropical cyclone during the next five days, also the same amount for 48 hours. So it is likely, it is getting more and more likely for us to have development taking place just off the southeastern coast of the US. And so this system here is really going to be lingering around. There is no set track as of right now for where the system might go. And so our, our models are all over the place with this but one thing for sure is that it is going to be in the vicinity of the bahamas and so abaco grand bahama those places might experience a bit of inclement weather from the system as it meanders around and so we have to talk about favorability for the system so first up we have the wind shear map and so the different colors here mean different shear intensity so we have the greens meaning favorable that is a conducive environment for us to have development taking place and then as we go to the yellows meaning neutral won't impact our systems too much but as we see those reds it is highly unlikely that we will have development taking place or much development taking place because this is what rips up uh, these systems a lot guys and so we're seeing here that 90l is not in the most favorable region right now but maybe things could get a bit more favorable uh, maybe going into tomorrow and probably monday if it is still over the warm ocean waters of the atlantic now let us go on to what our models are expecting in terms of its potential intensity so we have uh, quite a few models available and we have some not expecting that it will develop but we have quite a few expecting it will achieve tropical storm status and surprisingly three are showing that it will achieve hurricane status well i would say the scenario in which it has the potential to become a hurricane is if it actually makes its way over florida and into the gulf of mexico because that is also one of the possible tracks of our system and so let us go on to that map right now where will it go and so we don't have a lot of models available but we do have some expecting that's going to be remaining over in the atlantic making its way into georgia uh, or potentially south carolina and making its way up to the north and we have some expecting that it's going to be making its way straight across florida and into the gulf of mexico and i think that in that case it is going to be possible for us to have a hurricane especially if conditions in the gulf are highly favorable because we know that there are a lot of systems in the past that have rapidly intensified in the gulf once the conditions are favorable and so that could be the outcome of 90l but i would say the chance is kind of low for that to happen but i think that this definitely has the potential to become our next name storm according to the name fred and so guys now let us take a look at the Saharan dust map across the North Atlantic Basin and so in the vicinity of that wave to the north of Puerto Rico we're seeing that it is embedded in a region of quite a bit of Saharan dust so we're not expecting a whole lot of uh, in organization with the system here mainly for that reason but maybe if it wasn't for the dust it would have a chance of probably developing into a tropical cyclone but we do have for the most part a lot of the dust extending across the main development region preventing any sorts of convection that could be there because as you may know the dust brings a dry environment with it and tropical cyclones need warmth and moisture in order to grow and to thrive but in the vicinity of our 90l we're not seeing uh, much 
interference in terms of the Saharan dust there. So that is going to be a boosting factor for it to develop, guys. And so now let's take a look at what two of our models are showing in terms of where the system might go and how strong it might get. So we're going to be looking at the GFS and the Euro. And so this is a map showing the isobars which are lines of equal pressure and the closer you see them in a circular manner with the pressure below 1030 millibars. That is the low pressure system and can be our tropical cyclones. And so this is today, Saturday the 24th. And so you see 1011 low but the isobars are not very circular. So that is just the frontal boundary and of course it is a low pressure system but we do see a uh, 90L just off Florida right there and so let's go further out and so we're seeing here that uh, GFS is showing that frontal boundary being lifted to the northeast but not showing much but we do see a lot of moisture in the vicinity of the Bahamas going over into the Gulf of Mexico as well but we're not seeing any source of organization the same story for two by Tuesday the 27th of the month so GFS is not really expecting this to develop for the most part guys and so now let's take a look at what euro is showing and so this is sunday the 25th which is tomorrow and so euro is showing that the system here is going to be just off florida and kind of coming in shape as we go to monday the 26th uh, the euro is showing that this system here 90l probably a depression or storm at that point is going to be making its way into florida and by tuesday the 27th it is showing that the system is going to be making its way across the Florida Panhandle now. And so, if it does manage to make its way into the Gulf of Mexico, as I said earlier, that could be the scenario where we could have some rapid intensification taking place. But of course, that can only happen if conditions are very, very favorable for this thing here to intensify. And as we go further out, the system is now making its way over southern Alabama right there, guys. And so, we really have to watch this as time goes by because of course there are a lot of possibilities on the table but one thing for sure is that as of right now this thing here is not expected to be very strong but if you're in any of the regions that could potentially face impacts do not underestimate the system because of its strength because we've seen in the past where we have a lot of systems that are quite weak causing significant damage even more than a category one hurricane would so please ensure that you're safe guys and do not take any unnecessary risks and so guys in terms of that specific disturbance invest 98e we're seeing here that it is given a 50 percent chance to develop through the next five days and so the chance has really been in this region quite stagnant for a while now but our models here are expecting that it is eventually going to be developing into a tropical storm and if it does it will occur the name hilda and in terms of the potential track of it uh, they're all agreeing that it's likely going to be passing south of the big island in hawaii and so that will be some really good news guys and so fortunately this thing here is not expected to impact land even if it does develop and it's going to be reaching cooler waters which are also going to be helping this thing here to stay quite weak and so guys that is really it for this updated video and so again we have our invest 90l that has the potential to develop the chances increasing for us to have a tropical cyclone developing just off the southeastern coast of the u.s and i would say if you're in any of the states such as florida maybe georgia south carolina you want to keep an eye on this for now because it might potentially affect your region and so guys if you found this video to be quite informative Informative, please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts in the comments or ask a question i'll try to respond as best and as soon as i can and just remember to always weather wise and of course i'll keep you updated as time goes by